I'm streaming. We are alone. It's gonna be amazing. Oh, we, oh, we, oh. Yo. Probably gonna be an echo, so I'm gonna turn off one of these mics, but we have to make sure we turn it back on. Gin germs. Howdy do. It's like the Kentucky Derby. Gin germs crosses the wire first, and it's Holly Lee, then Tara. Becky Fisher's in fourth. Elizabeth and Carrie take up the lead. The tail. The end. The caboose. <laughs> the caboose. What a crazy day at the here. No, at the uh, studio. Kentucky Derby. Oh, yeah, there too. We got to meet Bug today and chop with Chris. Chop with Chris. And Bug and the kids. And the sister and the brother in law. So, how's everybody's Saturday? Did anybody bet on the Kentucky Derby? And if you did, did you win? What's up, Lisa? How are you? Oh no, five boats sank at Lake Travis in Austin. Why? Because there was a Trump boat parade. A drunk boat parade? Trump boat parade. They sank because there was a Trump boat parade? I don't know. It don't make no sense. Wow. Got out of hand, huh? I think there are some people that were a little bit drunky drunk. A little bit. Look like choppy waves. On a lake? I guess it must have been a Big lake and high winds. Are there tides in the lake? That's probably a dumb question. Well, tis the law. She's supposed to win, but what are you going to do? And you never know. That horse, what, what about that horse that reared up? Like when he was outside of his stall and fell over and he had to be scratched just because of that. That's what happens when you get too high. Four or five boats sink. Um. So what is it? Oh, hold on. My contacts are getting fuzzy. What was the spray paint you used <clears throat> on your airbrushed underwater scene for the sand? Oh, it's this stuff. Should be right there. Oh, I'll show it to you. I'll, sh I'll show it to you when we go up here. We'll just, we'll just do that. Stay tuned. So why is my overhead looking like it's blown out? Did I not fix it? I did fix it, right? I don't know. Is it colorblind? 
does it. Woman, you must be crazy. You guys, it's cute how how she is. Know it. Do I not press apply? Do I just press OK? We're going to find out. All right. So this is the, uh, the paint that I used for... Is it me or is it... Why is it blowing out? Like, I have the... It's Rust-Oleum Stone. Create a textured finish. And this is bleached stone is what that is. You like the new intro, y'all? I like it. Five minute intro? Huh? Did you say five minute intro? The new intro. Uh-oh, somebody's getting some, getting out the wine. I haven't heard I haven't heard the full thing yet. And fireball. Oh yeah. Uh Boog. Is it Boog or Booger? Booger Shea. Booger Shea brought us a full bo bottle of fireball. Oh, and if you guys are cheersing. I didn't even put cheers on that one. Son of a bee. Give me that one. So I wanted, I bought a couple of these um, metal beer can holders. You unscrew it and you put your beer in there. Probably put this in the freezer so it stays. And so I wanted to make one with a saying on it. So I put, wish you were beer <laughs> with the ATD logo. And then I made another one with just the ATD logo. And this skull was the artist till death. So, and I'm thinking about selling these on the website. Didn't know if you guys use metal koozies. I think they're pretty cool. They definitely keep your beer colder, but the only thing is, it's a little deceptive when you're drinking them. Because you think it's, uh, you still got a little bit in there, and <laughs> you don't. So you kind of drink them faster, I think, maybe? Are we ready? Yeah, that, let me just tone down that. I don't understand how that's so blown out. There we go. That's a little better. I think that's cool. All right. Do you show the presents from people real quick? No, but I shall. So we got this today in the mail. Um, fun little box. And it says, you guys have kept me sane during lockdown. Just a little thank you from me. Catherine at Ruby New. And she made us a little bee. A little uh, Bumble. mosaic. Beautiful. A little tag. Oh, it says ATD on the tag. I yeah. Love it. Thank you so much. And we had some guests today in the studio. Um, Boog, Booger, what? Hello? What? Do you have your headphones in? No. Can you show me? So, Chop with Chris. Chop with Chris oh, and Booger Shay. 
he made us this out of some crazy wood that had been rotting and he carved the ATD logo and put some resin in there. Cloche. And Chop with Chris, he's got a, a YouTube channel that he he uses hand tools to make things. Like he doesn't he doesn't use any electricity on anything. Doesn't he use handmade hand tools? I don't know. That may be a lie. I don't know, but he carves stuff, he carves bowls. All of it by hand. Out of like chisels. It's bananas. Like he makes everything by hand, no electricity. So in honor of... Chop with Chris is his... Is his uh, Our new wood friends, we're going to try to do wood green. But we're going to do it called fairy wood. Why oh, don't sit in art? Do you want to sit here so you can read the thing thing? So this is called fairy wood. It's something I kind of developed two trips down to Seguin ago, two trips ago. Mm -hmm. It was two trips ago. Okay. Don't know. And so that's what we're going to do on here. In theory. It worked really well down there. I'm going to have to move this all the way here. So I went ahead and mixed my resin for this 16 by 20 cradle. I mixed up probably too much resin at 10 ounces. What is that? Tons of compliments oh. on the F COVID shirt. Awesome. Thank you. I know working with resin looks like, nope, working with wood looks like a lot of fun. I haven't done it. I know. I want to start working with wood too. I just, I, uh, I need a. All right, what do we got here? Fairy wood. Morning. Fairy. Oh, man. Yeah, Manuel, we, we can't. He said, "Don't ban me." Yeah. <laughs> of course, we won't ban you, but we do have to mute that comment only because you never know if there's some churn in the room. Like, there's like three or four messages that are like pending. It Message says redacted. Or, I know, but this is a different person. They typed and then they took it back. Oh. They deleted it if it says message retracted. So, the colors I'm using, I have linked down in the description box. But, just so that you guys know, I have this, which is ivory gloss. Why is this when you get you? Uh, I Did I do it. that? No. But I need to turn back down. No, they need to, you're going to be talking, so I need to see your face. And then also rust -Oleum gloss and nice. khaki. And then usually uh, you would want gloss white, but I don't have any. So we're using semi-gloss, because that's all I have. When you mix resin into your... When you mix spray paint into your resin, uh, you want it to be gloss. When you spray paint your boards, you want it to be flat as a rule. I'm also going to use a Lumalite Brown Opaque Resin Art Gold Sparkle and Chocolate Orange from Color Obsession. Yeah, those, they're, they're like uh, wrenching gloves. I'm not a fan of those. Thank you, Pamela. One of those fans that watches. Oh, Casey. I'm not gonna open anyone. Casey one. Nash says, one of those fans that watches constantly from. Why are my eyes so? The sidelines. Thank you both for sharing your talents. Well, every, thank you for it's being like here. Every Casey. time I come over here, like. <laughs> Don't know. So. I wonder if I can change that. We're going to mix up our colors and we're going to try to do the deal where you mix spray paint into resin. And then put. Bowie's yelling at you. Yeah, I know. And then also put resin that's raw on the piece as well. 
This worked really well when I was at Rhonda's shop, but I think she has some like magic juju that just makes it work. All right, first color we're gonna do is the brown alumalite. And it's just sparkly wood. I called it fairy wood because it's got a little bit of magic in it with the sparkles, which is gonna come from the, you okay? Which is gonna come from the gold sparkle. Also, I'm gonna use something. I think that when it gets on you, it looks like that. Because I'm the palest person on the planet. It blows my mind. Like, you literally change the brightness of it. Do you guys see that? Like, look at me <laughs> when she comes over. Like, glow city. Like, what is that? Shine bright like a diamond. So we're also going to use... How did this go purple? Anyways. Nope. Yep. We're going to use liquid gold from Montana as well. So because of the sparkle and the liquid gold, it's going to be called fairy wood rather than wood grain. However, you can also use this formula and technique to do regular wood grain. Just don't put the gold or the sparkles in it if you don't want those. So we got our brown. We got our another brown. And then our gold sparkle here. So this is the Illumilite Brown Opaque that I have not yet snipped the tip of. Don't, um, when you use these Illumilite dyes, <gasps> no. Don't forget to snip the tip. Don't just try to force it out because you will. Yeah, you can see kind of where, where it's, it's not like the little exit. Okay. Yeah. So you can see where it stops so that the tip is solid right there. So I just snip that tip off. Sounds horrible. Anyways. So we're going to put a few drops of this. Um, it's a dye, so it's going to be very pigmented. You don't need all that much. I did what probably equates to two drops, and it's pretty dark. Then we're going to do our chocolate brown. This is a new color we just got in from Color Obsession. I'm very excited about it. It has like a terracotta-ness to it, that glow. See that orange? I don't know if that color is going to be good in this piece now that I'm looking at it. I don't know. We're going to mix them up anyways because I'm going to see what it looks like. But it, it looks like kind of almost like a super... It's like fiery orange. Yeah, like... I mean fiery like chocolate. Like a fun... It'd be good for terracotta e. Have you guys ever tried chocolate and oranges together? Speaking of chocolate orange, if you haven't, try it. Erica, can you explain why flat base and gloss and resin? Okay. So when you are base painting your substrate, so if I wanted to make this a color, this is one of our cradle boards. I left it just regular, just how we ship it, because it's wood color already, obviously, and we're doing wood, so I left it. Um, so when you spray paint a base color, you want to use flat because it has a little bit more tooth to it than the gloss. The gloss is just too slippery, so you're more likely to get pitting when you're doing your base color. But the flat, it holds on to better, so you're less likely to get pitting. When you mix spray paint into resin, for some reason, the flat tends to get chalky and will break apart in your resin as opposed to the gloss, which just makes awesome design elements. I don't know why. Something about the gloss Thank you, makes Tara. it work better. Thank you. I hope that makes sense. This is our chocolate orange. 
It looks orange orange on camera, but it's a little bit more of a chocolatey hue. There you go. This camera is a little bit more true. Also that one. That overhead light is probably gonna give me a little too much of a glare. So I'm gonna end up moving it to the side, just heads up. So this is ultra sparkly. This is what's gonna give our fairy element. And if you're new to the channel, heads up, I really overload my powder pigments because I find that they kind of dilute when you start mixing them around in your resin. And if you've been here for a while, then you already know that. I wish I can, I wish I can make this. So fairy -y. There's got to be a way to like. Typically I use um, Milky Way, but I'm out. And this is one of the colors that's in Milky Way. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be exciting. So, these two we're going to use raw, but I'm going to go ahead and mix it up. We have to use these yet. I'm using any aerosol or also resin or also sanding things. Uh, wear a respirator. Know your body. Wear proper PPE for yourself. I do not have a, a respirator or a mask on because then you won't be able to hear me. And I have a very well ventilated space, very high ceiling. So uh, do as I say, and not as I do. Cool. cool. And the windows. I'm gonna put some clear to the side because you never know if you're gonna need it. And we are going to grease the pan with white into our clear. Rhonda, if you're in here. So as Rhonda does, she covers the piece and just puts it in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then she leaves her hand over it for a little bit. So that the fumes sink, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever reason she does it, that's what she does. This is going to give our clear resin a slight white hue, and since it's spray paint and gloss, it's got like some enamel properties to it, so it'll give us some cool features. You can also use the base tints or the base cell from Color Passion. We don't have any gloss white spray paint. What, Vamp? All I see is Jeff. He says I don't know. Who said you don't know? So let's get this grease party started. I may need more. Grease lightning. Can't sing all the words because it would obviously sound just like it did in the movie, and mm -hmm. then we might get in trouble. What? I I'm confused. Is somebody talking to me? I don't. I don't. I have my car full of ACB. probably gonna have to make the rest of that into white as well.
<clears throat> you have an awesome table, the perfect size and design to do resin on, but don't have enough money for the amount of resin it would take to feel it. Um, you mean flood it, probably? So you only need about an eighth inch worth of resin on your surface. And For that, you need three ounces per square foot. Some reason it's blurry. Oh, Erica asked if you knew why she was holding spray paint. Your reaction was cute. No. It is blurry. Sorry. It's going to be that way until I get something down. So I'm going to... Do this over here. But this wasn't very opaque, so I wanted to add a little bit more. Have we tried to do this here? Do we use her, we used her stuff, her colors? Yeah, we used her colors. Mm. It's on there. Got your Labor Day order in. That's awesome. Oh, we released the next Pour With Us class kit for the 25th of this month for the... Oh my gosh, what is the deal? It's white. It needs to have something to focus on. But... But I'll tell them about the kit when you're done talking about the blurry. You think we just need to put something down to make it focus? Hey Google, turn off studio light. Wow. So it's on the Chameleon Galaxy idea that we were throwing around. And I think it's gonna be a pretty awesome class. If you already have some of the materials, feel free to just use those. If you need the materials, then uh, we have a kit available that has everything that you need to do the piece on our website, artistlelet.com, two T's, two L's. I'm surprised Kenny isn't like texting us, watch those edges. If you don't know, Kenny down at RK3 is um, very passionate about making sure the edges are covered no, in your pieces. I'll just hold my hand here. All right. Thing is, because there's a texture in these gloves, there's kind of like striations on this, which is pretty cool. Look at that. What? Where is the way up? It's it's just not. It'll be fine. As soon as I get something down, it'll be fine. So I'm trying to remember how Rhonda did this. And she was very specific in saying that you need to make sure that you do exact horizontal lines so that you don't end up with like a rainbow look. So um, I just messed up there. I'm gonna wait till Jeff gets this done to. What? It's it's on you. I know, but I can't. I want to let you get that done with I don't want to splash you with resin because I need to go with this.
To me, it doesn't matter if it starts to rainbow because it's wood. And to me, anything in nature doesn't have to be exactly perfect because nature. Oh, we did this when we were down for when Marcy came down to do her stuff. Did you take the autofocus off? It was doing that with the focus on it. And then we're gonna run some of this chocolate orange through it. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna put down because I don't know if it's gonna make sense. We're gonna give it a shot though. So when you do this, make sure you start off the piece and then pull all the way off the piece so that you don't end up with too many blurbs like this one right here, which is fine to have some because it's almost not holy. I'm going to put a few swipes of the resin art gold through, but I'm going to do more of this gold at the end when I can control how it's going to look and where it's going to be. So, now we got some lines. The next thing that Rhonda does is she takes her spray paint and sprays it on a stir stick and then runs that through the piece. Which makes me nervous, but no one else gets nervous during that, so. We're just gonna go for it. I hope it works out. This is a YOLO moment. Yeah, this, for some reason, this, when there's no color down and it's white like that, it just has a really hard time focusing. So. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm trying to fix, Pamela. We're going to spray it directly onto this stir stick, as you can see right there in that screen. Oh my goodness, why is this nervous for me? So this is the khaki. Did you spray any of that out first? Yes, there's some right there. It's crazy, it looks a different color on the piece than it does on the stir stick. So when okay. you, you guys, I have nothing to do with the focus. It's on autofocus, it's just, when it's bright like this, it can't, it just can't pick anything up. Maybe if I put some more of those dark lines through it. So we're going to continue to run these lines through. And you'll start to see 
the spray paint, whatever's in the gloss of it, start to react with your other colors and push them around and create some interesting textures. I'm not talking a lot. I'm trying to figure this pattern out. So she does this deal to get all the colors working together. Jeff wanted to change his contacts, you guys. He'll be back in a second. Nope. That's not where you guys are. You're in this one. Oops. So I'm going to show you kind of up close kind of what this does. You'll see it kind of grow out this light khaki color here that we just did. It'll start playing with the other colors that we have down. And this is when it's really good to have a long working time um, resin because the longer you mess with this kind of design, for me anyways, the more it does awesome stuff and the more I like it. This is definitely one of those, okay, hear me out pieces. See how it's still spreading out right here? Okay. Now I'm going to bring in I'm sorry, that wasn't khaki, that was the tan one. Now I'm going to do the khaki. I forgot. This is going to look cool because, well, it probably blow it out. We got our new flashlight. Oh, yeah. sure people from other planets can see that. Look how crazy. Ooh, you know what I want to do? I want to put an ATD sticker on the lens. So that you can have like a bat, ATD bat signal? Bat signal. Wee -oo, wee -oo. I can put a mouse on there so then the cats can be like, what is that? That's an awesome flashlight. Fifteen dollars. No, we haven't planned anything for Florida yet. But we're working on it. We just need to make sure that Sarasota. Our um, the place we're staying, planning on going to is cool with it. Rana does a lot of that 
windshield wiper, but not rainbow windshield wiper motion. Do you want to put some circles in it for knots? I was going to ask you if you could do the knot holes. They're just ovals, right? I know what they look like and what they are, but yours always turns yours out better. Like, yours like, you're starting to do this. Thank you, hair. For ruining my design. We'll call that a knot hole. I wonder if it's because of this. Can I change this? Like from a black background to a white background? Oh, I don't know. All right, let's hit it with some heat, see what we got. A lot of times adding heat when you have spray paint in resin makes a whole bunch of stuff happen. So we'll see if that's the case. I feel like since it's fairy wood, I want to add a color. Do we have a color that's lost? There's a purple up there. just waiting to be used. Yeah, it is. I'd, I'd, uh... Next color we're going to mix into this bad boy is Krylon Color Max Paint and Primer Gloss Rich Plum. <gasps> Excited. Okay, wait. Okay, good. It looks like on um, top of a white brownie. A white brownie? Yeah. I think this will give the depth that I'm missing. It almost smells plummy. Should we roll with it? Do you like the purple in there? That isn't, you don't like it? Because I'll not put more in there. I'll put it down there so they can see. We like the purple in there, yay or nur? Dunk your Tim Tams and only spread your Vegemite sparingly on hot buttery toast. I love Tim Tams. Yeah, and don't be no Vegemite. That stuff wasn't bad, but man. Nah. You're gonna not hold it up? I don't know. I mean, it has to be done. I apparently am not good at straight lines. Get your foot? No. You didn't get me at all. Because I have cat like reflexes. I agree, it would look good on a countertop. We're not even done with it yet. I think it needs more um, of the khaki color. 
I don't know. There's just the brown is not like it's like, or maybe you just have to keep doing that. I don't know. Maybe there's some darker or something. I don't know. While you were gone, I was telling them how sometimes you have designs where you just have to work it till you like it. This may be one of those, okay, hear me out. I just, the thing is, I don't see any sparkle in it. No, I think I mixed it too much, but I'm going to add lines of it along with the um, gold. After we get all the knot holes put in and everything, like last thing type stuff. So will you knot hole it for me? There's helicopters outside for the protest. I'm gonna tilt this thing. Because I have that <laughs> rainbow right here, so in my head if I tilt it, it'll straighten out. I don't know. I think we need to start over. <laughs> How do you I don't know, just do in the dark parts or yeah, so how she does it is she waits till it's almost set up, but we're live, so. I have no idea, like. Hey, Clara, she said, make your eyes go out of focus and you'll see the dominant colors easier. Yeah, and Clara just said, don't do the knots till it starts to set up, otherwise you'll lose the details. And that's what Rhonda does. So that's true and that's fair, but we're live, so I'm gonna, we're gonna do the knot holes and if they start to melt away, we'll just add them back in as they start to set up. Maybe Jeff can paint a bear claw on it or something because it looks so much like wood on a tree. Yeah. Dude, that looks like an awesome knot hole. Mm. Have fun knotting I think it up it's then. Too many, there's just too many different colors in here, I think, for me. I don't know. Yeah, but also it's fairy wood. So, what's the key to getting a good knot? Just swirl it and keep going? I don't know because I'm not, I don't. So if we were to do this after it had set up for a couple hours, it would be more noticeable. However, we don't have that kind of time because live, but we'll go in and do that after it's set up for a little bit. Put some spray paint on it. Maybe do. Looks like an exotic wood species. It is. It's fairy wood. Magic forest. Yes, that. Have you guys ever tried doing a wood grain? Let me know in the comments below slash the live chat if you guys are here live. Someone's gonna tag Rhonda in this, and she's gonna be like, oh. I don't know that. That's fun. Ooh, that looks really good. Like, I think you should, like, swipe it. I'm gonna. Alright, y'all. We're gonna do a swipe. I was 
just going to do a full fold. Sure those ends are down. It looks like everything is down. All right. Mommy, 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 the truth. So if we pull straightish, then it should give us straight lines, right? And my rainbowness or windshield wiper, will you push that far, far end down, B? Push it down again. Woody. So let's try this. I know the striations look pretty good. Monster swipe. Love it already. Now it looks like wood. That's Woody. Now you're putting the detail lines. I guess you shouldn't, huh? You should. It's just lighting. It's the lighting and the coloring. And my eyes are just like, for some reason, are not. Focusing. I'm digging it. Okay. So let's put another. I'm just going to follow around this knot hole and continue it. I feel like if I had too many knot holes, it won't be cool. But I think, should I put one down here or leave it alone? What do you guys think? In the meantime and in between time, I'm going to put in lines of our resin art gold sparkle. I think it's that fun orange you put in there that's throwing me off. Let's see if you guys can see this. Look at this. This is this is right outside our window. At the end of the block down there, to the left, there's a bunch of protesters out there. More, 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 add, more, more, yes, add. So they want one more of your knot holes. And somewhere in and around over here. Ooh, that's weird, Casey. Um, 
Yeah, definitely don't click on that. I have a secure website, by the way, so if that pops up, it's... I don't know what's up with that, but I would never click on any pop-ups of ever. Does one of your dogs have a warrant? I don't know. Bowie's kind of thuggy. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Trisha. Be good call on the swiping. Yes, that was fireworks. It was, that was just somebody dropping something upstairs. <laughs> I am loving this. Let's hit it with some heat. Pop these bubbles and then we're gonna put our Montana gold through it and call it a completed awesome piece. Yay! Can you turn like you can't turn it down? Thing? Like no. I wish that you could like make it not so bright. I'm trying to so you guys can see. We'll do true color. Sparkle. As well. Okay. So now we're going to use our Montana liquid gold. Uh, the next class is going to be on galaxies using chameleon pigments. We got a little rain today. Yep. What is this really thin line of... I would put that through the whole, like... What? What is that? That looks so good. Where, this what? thin line of glitter. I, it's through the whole thing. That's what I'm saying. Like, it just looks like teeny tiny... It looks good. I'm, I'm asking what it is. What is it? That is Resonart Gold Sparkle. You didn't ask what it was? Yeah, but I, I, I was complimenting it. Thank you. Um, but let me know if you really can't see it throughout the whole piece because then I do need to add more of it. It's just very subtle. I mean, it looks good. And I, I'm just, I, I like it. I, just, oh, I know, what, I thank you. And I know what you're saying. I just want to make sure that it's not just only present here. Because I guess because I put it down, I can see it more, but if you can't, then I need to fix it. I'm going to put more of it on there. It looks extra awesome with the logo on it. Okay. I'm letting the whatever that's in spray paint that makes it liquid soak out a little bit of the gold so that when I apply it onto the piece it doesn't balloon too much.
can see me right down here. Dun, dun, dun. Just letting that soak into the paper. And then I always do a roadside test to make sure. And it's still a little bit full. Okay. Y'all ready? I'm just gonna pull this gold all the way through the piece. Gonna brighten up the palette, give it a little bit extra pizzazz. Make sure that if if you do how we did and do the super swipe to make it softer, um, if you have a little bit of like this pattern here, this wiggle, make sure that when you pull your gold through that you follow that so it doesn't stand out. Also something I learned from Rhonda is to adjust what side you add your color on so it's not heavier on this side than this side because when you first go in you're going to have more paint on your star stick. Then when you end it, so your line's going to be heavier where you start. A little pro tip for y'all. Thanks to you, B. I think Rhonda will be proud. Mm. Love it. What do you think? I'm going to do a true color video for you guys. Rhonda's in the house. Rhonda's here? RK3. Rhonda, what do you think of my this? I made fairy wood. I think. Um, I have to confess for a minute, I was sure you'd be disappointed. But then Jeff hopped in, saved the day with a mega swipe and now it looks like this and now I think you'd be proud um, if you guys don't know Rhonda in the house here at RK3 Designs as uh, 
her YouTube channel. She um, is a master at bow finishes, countertops, all the awesome things. And during a class down at her place in Sabine, Texas, I learned how to do this. And if you guys have the opportunity to go to one of her classes, I highly recommend it. Especially if you're into countertop and that. No meerkatting. Thank you, Clara, for the link to RK3 Designs website. She is brilliant. Check out her YouTube, check out her Facebook, and check out her website. If you get a chance to go down there, you'll absolutely love it. gonna post an ATD's poor people. I don't think that's people upstairs dropping stuff. What is it? But what is it? The marble table video you and I did will be out soon. Sweet! If you guys don't know about that video, let me just give you a quick snippet. This is what Rhonda says will be available on her channel soon. No, ma'am. got a pinky toe and resin. Uh, so yeah. Thank you, Virginia. Thank you, Trisha. Thank you, everybody. I see all the detail, but I want to see it closer. Uh, Joe Fish, I just posted in ATD's Poor People the um, true color video. You guys thank you thank you oh you should subscribe to Rhonda's channel if you haven't yet you are completely missing out you're completely missing out if you haven't checked out her stuff They're locking the street down. It's gonna be fun to walk in place. You guys are gonna love it. Check her out. So that's our video for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Hope you're entertained at least. Something to get people's minds off of whatever you may have going on in your life that maybe isn't making you happy right now. Good call on the phone. Thank you. Oh, that's a stone. Um, 
girl cat hopped up and got a pinky in the resin. So when I picked her up, this just splashed onto here. I got it off her foot though. So I'm gonna take this to the DFZ. My goodness, loving it. Got a little drippy do. Teamwork, y'all. Dreamwork. the website it is for a galaxy chameleon piece hope you guys uh, join us for that that kid's tempting me too Wi-Fi is true luxury bye Trisha Rhonda tell Kenny we said hi oh Kenny says hi Jeff so Hello. I don't say hi but Jeff says hi yep I hope it makes you smile, Jacqueline. Um, somebody please explain to me how 78 people are watching and only 37 likes. Exactly, Elizabeth. Call them out. So, yes. Hi, Angela. Thank you guys for joining us and seeing what we're up to today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please try the fairy wood. And if you do, tag us. Hashtag ATDART. Uh, we have a sale going on on the website for Labor Day. Code is Labor Day, Labor Day. one word, and it gets you 15% off. It's a crazy sale, but it's Labor Day. So uh, get on that because it won't be there for much longer. Enjoy. And uh, be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. And we'll see you guys manana. Tomorrow. So till next time. Bye. I said bye. What? I know. I'm excited.